What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another digit match. I actually have two matches for you today and we'll talk about that in a bit. But I am on the left playing Blue, Fla uh, Blue Flare and Jose is on the right and he is playing Alpha Man. So this is Jose's, I don't even know what to say, Jose? I don't think I call him Jose. But Jose is over here. I think he's practicing Alpha Man because he's actually building the deck and he recently got most of the pieces. So it might not be the most optimal place because we were we were play testing, and for me on the left this was Neil Bonaparte's top. I think it was top one. It was for sure top four. The Blue Flare um, deck profile that the Eggman posted on his channel. So this is like card for card. I think I think the only thing is missing is like the Death Xmon, but other than that it's like card for card. So he's gonna go ahead and swing with the Ryudomon. Hits a Blazy Memory Boost, which is really nice for me because obviously the more Digimon he has on field, the better. He's gonna play a second Cool Boy. And then this is a tough choice, is it? No, he's gonna get the one of Doro Gray. And then he's going to play the Coda to leave me at three. Because I do have the Kiriha. Now the deck he is playing is my build. So I'm a fan of Coda and I play Coda at four copies because I like being set to three. Usually if you have a Coda and a Cool Boy, that's enough for you to do full combo if you have all your pieces, which is really nice. So I have the Gaussmon in the back. I really like the Gaussmon because unlike the Dracomon, I'm pretty sure it's called Dracomon, it's not called Dracomon, right? Dracomon, yeah, you get to draw a card even if it's not a Digimon. So I'm going to swing with the Metal Gray. It does have Jamming, Sec Plus 1. Swing with the Gaussmon, draw a card. Swing with the Greymon. Greymon does live and swing with the Melbird. And yeah, I mean... It's going to be really hard for him to get over this board. He would need like the Deep Digivolve. And like a final Zubagon Punch if he has all the pieces. It is... It's a little bit difficult because he doesn't have the level 4 in the back. But if he has all, oh, he doesn't actually have Darugamon. That's crazy. Okay, then this is GG. I say that's GG. <clears throat> There's no way he's going to get enough memory. I mean, he could, if he has a Dora Greymon and another Doramon, then yes, it is very possible that he can Digivolve for one memory and then go into Dex Dora Greymon here for two. Yeah, he does have it, but I think he forgot to draw there. He does draw a card. Yeah, he's going to scoop it up. So we're gonna go with a game two. But yeah, I saw Neil Bonaparte's list on the Eggman's channel and I actually really liked it, it's very aggressive. That game one was like two minutes, three minutes. Uh, sped up, I think it was like six minutes in uh, without double time. Cool boy here gets some two rookies, one, one of the two. I think Son of Rizamon should be played at four copies in this deck. It's already slow as it is, right? And you're only promoting one stack at a time, usually with the Alphamon. Deck. So I think even though you ha you risk bottom decking the Son of Rizamon, I think you should play the Son of Rizamon. You need to swing for as many checks as possible, and then usually gain massive advantage, memory advantage with the or you can. The only bad thing about the Son of Rizamon is obviously you bottom deck it, um, which is why I see a lot of people instead of playing Coda, they'll actually play like Yuya, and then instead of playing Coda, they'll they'll play Black Memory Boost, which is not bad. It's the same function, but obviously, you know, the Black Memory Boost will not bottom deck your Son of Rizamon. But being set to set to three is really nice. So I'm going to swing with two checks again with Jamming, I believe. I'm not sure if it's a new one. I think that's actually the old male bird. But it does survive either way. I do hit a Coda, so he will be set to four. So now we get to see what he can do. He's going to get the Dex. Wait, wait, what was going on, bro? Wait, did he just get a cool boy off that? No, he didn't do that. Did he? <laughs> I hope he didn't get a cool boy off that. But I'm assuming he has the Dex in hand already. Dex Daruga in hand. So we can go ahead and... Yeah, did I see that wrong? All right, Dex Daruga. Um, gain a memory, tap cool boy. Gain another memory, draw a card. I actually would have done that the opposite way, but you know. 
Now he's at six, which means, okay, he's gonna play a second cool boy. See, if he had that in his hand, I think he should've just done that first. He does have the alpha mon. Um, does he have no level five? I think he's missing the level five. Yeah, that sucks. So in this case, it's gonna be really difficult for him to out the board. He could, no, he can't even do that, to be honest. Get the Oryumon. Oryumon's actually a really good card. Yeah, and then that's gonna be GG for sure, because if I still have three Digimon on the board, he only has two security. Yeah, how long is this match? This is five minutes. He does have a one blocker. And he has to block this. But if I have another Metal Greymon, I can just go ahead and suspend the Kiriha and do the play all over again. Stun his board. He's like, yo, really? <laughs> and there you go, GG. So that was match one. So the thing is, this was so fast. It was such a fast 2-0 that I we played two games. We're actually going to switch now and then we're going to play a second match. So stay tuned. All right, we are back. So this is game two, we actually switched around. So Jose is on the left playing Blue Flare now and I am on the right playing Alphamon. Since these are both my decks um, and we're play testing, we just decided to flip, or, flip it around and I wanna see how hard it is playing against Bonaparte's list here. So he's gonna play the Gaussmon. That's really good because next turn, even if he doesn't swing with the rookies, he could play another Blue Flare card and then immediately draw two cards if he plays another Digimon. I'm gonna play the Dorumon. I do have the Darugamon in the back. Not a bad start. Um, I'm like, is he really gonna swing? He's gonna play the male Birdmon, and that one does it doesn't stun my Dorumon, but if I swing, I do lose to memory. And he will draw two cards off both the rookies, which is really nice. To unbreak your hand. A lot of blue flare, sometimes blue flare, I don't know. Like I felt in the past that used to brick because. It just didn't have any draw power. So it's really good. I'm going to go into Darugamon here. Darugamon effect, put the Dorumon under, draw a card, and go into Dex. Dorugrimon, pop the male bird. And then go into Alphamon. Did I not use the Dorugamon, the Dex Dorugrimon effect? And then Alphamon put Ryudamon under. So I pass them over for memory. I maybe I'm missing something because I I'm pretty sure I did not use Dex Door Greymon effect to trash one and gain a memory. Greymon there is gonna get him some good value. Put him down to zero, and then he also draws two cards. But it's actually very hard for him to stun my my Alpha Mon without a Deck of Greymon, which Neil does not play in his list. So he's actually gonna hard play the Kiriha and pass turn. Now the Alpha Mon does have the Son of Reason Mon, so it's going to be swinging for about 14k, I believe. If I have the finals of Bagan Punch, that'd be great, but it doesn't look like I have it. I do draw the Oryukin off that. I actually do not have the Oryumon under there. So what is the plan? I'm gonna swing at security for two checks. Uh, hits a the blazing memory boost. Yeah, it's a tough decision. And then Darugamon in the back. Uh, swing with the Dorumon because it's going to get frozen anyways, most likely. And then here the code is going to give me the Dex Doro Greymon. Pass turn. At the end of the turn, I will put a Dorumon under to gain a memory. And it's kind of... It's a little worrisome because obviously at the end of the turn, I would actually like to put the Oryumon under. But he's going to swing at security. And yeah, bro, this... Um, I'm, I'm very surprised he doesn't have the Metal Grey. After all those draws and all... He does have the Metal Grey. He is missing a Greymon, I think. Yeah, I don't see any red ones. So Neil only plays... Um, obviously, the yeah, no, 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 wait. He can do it. He's going to pop the Memory Boost. He's reading the Metal Greymon with Cyber Launcher, which is actually a really good card. 
It's being played at three copies right now currently, and I really like it because it's good for bottom decking like annoying level threes. I think, yeah, no level threes. I think it, it can pop level fours. I forgot what the requirement is for that. So he's going to go into the Metal Greymon. No stunning. He will draw three cards off the two Dracomons and the Gaussmon. Swing at security. It does have jamming. Swing with the Gaussmon. Swing with the Dracomon. Draw a card off the Wanya. Zubagon punch goes to hand. Swing. Hits a Coda. Oh, is that the one of Dora Greymon? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. He's going to play a Sorai to strip the top four. All right, so draw for turn. Most likely going to try to get full value. Oh, is he just going to scoop it up? Oh, yeah, because I the, the Alpha Man has two swings. It could have been Sorai and the security man. <laughs> Or, but I, I mean, if I had the if I had a level five, then it didn't matter, right? Or anything I could have digivolved on top of the other Digimon, then yeah. The only removal um, security bomb in the blue flare deck at the current moment is the Sorai, and that's it. And that's not even a removal, right? It's like a stun card. So Doromon in the back for me. He played the Kiriha to pass turn, or is it the Blazing Memory Boost? Okay, okay. Doromon reveal top three. I do get the decks there. Unfortunately, bottom deck a cool boy play a coda to put him at four, one over what he was gonna get. I forgot what piece I got there, but now he cannot choke me. Gaussmon will get deleted. He draws a card. Does he get to play something? Was it the OG Gaussmon? It is right. So he should play like um, the male bird for free. Even if it's not like a high value Digimon, like the Greymon that sets, uh, searches two, it's still pretty good just to get the body out there. And yeah, I don't know. That was an interesting play. Because right now I think he could have two bodies out there. I don't think it matters because he does have jamming, two checks. That security plus one Greymon is at two, four copies in this deck. Yeah, he's looking at the Cyber Launcher. If anything, the um, the armor purge is nice because it protects your Greymon for a for a turn, and you still get the benefits of the inheritable, the inheritables. So yeah, I think he's going to just do it. Give me the three bottom deck, the Doromon. I'll draw for turn. Yeah, now correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, you do not actually need to place anything under the Metal Greymon to get the bottom deck effect. Because it's like Beelzemon, where Beelzemon you can mill two, and then you can delete the opponent's Digimon. You don't have to mill two. So you can just activate the effect, mill nothing, and still delete a Digimon with the when Digivolving one attacking effect of the EX2 Beelzemon. Doro Greymon, the Doromon will set me back to three. I'm going to swing over the Doromon. I mean, the Metal Greymon. Go into Alphamon, Alphamon effect will D Digivolve. So he will lose that material, that male bird. But from the looks of it, he does have another male bird, so it's fine. Yeah, I was like, do I go into Or You Can Hear? Do I have it? Wait, wait, I don't even have, I don't have Oryumon under here. Oh, I'm going to do it. No, for seven. Okay. Yeah, get the Ryudamons out there. You don't need the Ryudas. So four, I'm thinking of maybe just, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm not using all of them. I'm going to wait. I don't know why I bottom decked the level 5 though. I think the level 5 was necessary to trigger the the other inheritables. Yeah, I messed up there. I think I was worried of him doing Sorai. Yeah, so there's like it wouldn't have mattered anyways. 
That's why I bottom decked the door Greymon. But I mean, if he didn't have the Sora, it didn't matter, right? I, mean, I, I could have just saved the Inheritables. Play Cool Boy, he will go to three. Ooh, tough choice, tough choice. Yeah, my apologies if if the camera's not the best here. I'm gonna use the or you or you can effect to go back to zero. Nice, nice. That's a nice play. It's a 16k vanilla at this point now, though. Yeah, sorry if um the camera's off. We were recording this around like 10 or 11 p.m. And my my little small flashlight, you know, gave us enough light to record the matches. Here I decided to do the Dex to Rugamon in the raising area, and I don't know what I'm doing. Like, hopefully I picked up the Dex Doro Greymon, and that's why I'm doing that play. Right? So he's going to pop the boost. Oh, he played for five. It's crazy. Okay. Swing, and I think that's going to be GG. It's going to be very difficult to come back from this. He's going to play the male bird and then stun. Or not stun, but if I swing with the Oryukin, I do lose two memory. I do have the Doro Greymon and the Sunarizamon under there. So... I think I'm just not seeing the Oryumon. Like, I don't have the Oryumon in trash. And I don't think I picked up the door, the Dex Dora Greymon last turn. Which sucks. Yeah, that was, that was the wrong play on my part. I definitely messed up there. If I didn't have it, I think I should have 100% just kept the Dex Dora Greymon. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I would have had enough memory if I didn't go into my level 5 last turn in the, in the raising area. To do this play anyways. The problem is I, I don't have the Oriumon. Draw a card. I don't even have it in hand, do I? Play another cool boy. Nope. Get another Oriukin. Oh no, I do have the Oriumon. Put the Oriumon under. Yeah. But no way to gain a memory back. So this is game two, or this is game three actually. Durugamon, Sonorisa, Durugamon in the back. Nice, nice. That's what you want to see. I think yeah, he's contemplating playing the Tamer there. It's not a bad move. So if he, if there's two or more Digimon at the start of his main phase, I believe that he'll he'll gain a memory. Damn, I don't even know what that Tamer does. I gotta I gotta reread the Kiriha. And Nene. I played at two in these in this um in the blue player deck. So he's gonna play the blazing memory boost and leave me at one. I feel like I should promote and blast this male bird. He's gonna go to four regardless. No, and I do the same play. I think the pressure was getting to me. That's what it was. See, look, I had another cool boy. No, I think I just drew that cool boy. No, 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 because that, that would be egregious. Why would I do that? No, I definitely drew that cool boy. At least that's what I want to tell myself. I had to, I just drawn that cool boy. So I'm gonna swing a Coda. Get the Oryukin. Now it's looking really nice. If I have Dora Greymon and the Dex Dora Greymon, then it'd be nice. Swing for two checks with jamming. Hit another Coda. Get an Alpha Mon. That's very nice. Very, very nice. That's the only difference between the Coda and the the, the that's one of the bigger differences with the Coda and the Blade the Black Memory Boost. 
because the code insecurity will trigger and I'll get my searches plus the memory. And obviously the black memory boost will not trigger. He gets a lot of metal grays off that. So this is definitely my last turn. Is that what security? Now after all those codas, okay, there you go, look. Get the door, yes, yes, good job. No, oh wait, oh, the door green mom puts it under. Okay, I do have another Dex Door Green Mon though, so I'll gain two memory, and then I will detach one, gain another memory, and now I do have the D-Digivolve Alpha Mon, so I will go into the D-Digivolve Al D-Digivolve Alpha Mon, hopefully. Yes, draw, put the Oryu Mon under, trigger D-Digivolve one. Go into Oryukin for three. I will pop him. He'll save his materials. The Doro Greymon put a source under. Then I'm going to start removing sources. I definitely want three. Ellie, yeah, I want three back. Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. So gain... Put me back to three. Swing at security for two checks at like 70k, I believe. Unsuspend, swing for two checks. Did I not have final Zubagon punch or was that last game? Because I think if I had final Zubagon, no, I still wouldn't have been able to do it. Yo, I'm not lying. Sometimes I do want to play like a the Grumblemon in this deck like I used to do in back in the olden days. Yeah, dude, if he has the Metal Greymon, which he did at last, yeah, that's GG. He's going to stun two Digimon and swing for game. So Jose is going to take it there. And then so you see, we switched decks. I was playing Blue Flare first and I won. And then we switched and then Jose was playing Blue Flare and he won. So I think with that being said, you guys saw the matchup. Yeah, I think uh, I think Alpha Mon has a really tough spot keeping up with the Blue Flare deck, especially since this is the one that topped recently. So there you go. Let me know what you think about the matchup in the comment section below. If you've played Alpha Mon before, what do you think about the Blue Flare matchup? Am I wrong? And you think it's like an easier matchup and we're just noobs or something? <laughs> but yeah, let me know. I'm looking forward to reading those comments especially. But yeah, just drop your opinion. Anyways, stay tuned. More videos are coming soon. Um, the tournament videos, I did play Gallant Mon for the store championship. So yeah, stay tuned for those videos. But anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. My name is Mr. J. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.